let's start our first project and uh, I'll start with our architectural template. Uh, what is template? Template allows you to start with a set of your different views, different uh, families, different uh, other objects uh, and speed up your work. For example, if I'll say projects, new project based on architectural template, I'll receive two levels, sailing planes, four elevations and some preloaded families in my project. Uh, so I recommend to keep your properties bar on the right side if you have a uh, wide monitor. It's for me it's very very handy. And the third thing uh, which we need to learn it's grid. Grid allows you to place grids and uh, the tool it's works very easy. When you pick your grid, uh, you'll Revit turn on your bar modify grid, modify place grid, and you can place your grid. You can, uh, by default, you place your grids by line, you can set your first point and second point. First point and second point and so on here it is else you can uh, do the same by arc you can uh, two types of arc start and reduce or center and arc like this start and end. I'll undo this, this steps and you can pick lines for example pick any line for example um, from AfterCAD file or you can s say offset and pick some of your lines if you drag your mouse from the right side, you'll receive your grid on the right side of your object. If you move your mouse uh, from the left side, you'll, re uh, you'll receive your grid from your left side of your object. But uh, So you need to check, for example, sometimes you can place one grid over another because uh, you placed your mouse on the wrong side. And now I want to create horizontal grids. I say offset is zero. Place first grid. And uh, now I need to work with uh, letters. I click on 8 and say this is will be A. And when I place the second one, it will be B. C and so on. Of course we can copy our grids, we can uh, place a lot of them by copying or in modify tab by array, but uh, we will work with these tools after some time. And in the last version of Revit we have a multi-segment tool which allows you to create one grid with different parts, for example like this one or with another types of lines. So here it is, and I have letter on the wrong side. I turn checkbox here, turn off checkbox here, and turn on it here. So this way you place your grids, but uh, you need just remember that uh, you need to 
check your grid numbers, don't forget to renumber it. So, uh, in the properties, every grid line has a name where you can set it up or you can just uh, select it and click on its name here and enter another letter. Of course, you can't uh, enter the same names, for example, I can't, sorry, I can't uh, enter two same letters. Revit says it already exists.